Alright, Coco, here we go. Oh. Alright, as some of y'all saw in some of the other videos, I've got um, several different uh, bird jungle gems that I built. <coughs> uh, they're simple, they're made out of PVC, and it's just basically something you can add on to your bird stand if you have like an indoor aviary in the wintertime. Uh, you know, in the wintertime, there's not really much to do outside with these guys because they are tropical and you know they need to be in some form of climate control so uh, to keep them exercising during the winter time um, for my guys I've, and girls I've built uh, a few indoor jungle gems and so anyway so you've probably seen them on some of the other videos but these are the newer ones that I've built and I've got some I've got everything but dimensions like if you're really interested and you really want to build one of these then you know contact me I'll send you the exact measurements of what you need but anyway I'll give you a basic idea of what's what's all there um, now these ceilings are like 12 or 15 feet or something like that it's a big it used to be a garage and we closed it off and that's Angel the blue and gold and Gaia the scarlet um, Okay, let me back up so you can get a better view of what's going on. Now, with PVC, you want to try to avoid using anything that's got any strong smells or odors, like the chemical compounds used to join the pieces together. So what I do is I kind of over-measure, and you'll notice on the left, this, uh, let's see, right here, this, this bend right there, that's on purpose. That's just to keep everything pushed into place. If you notice how it's built, kind of like an hourglass. Um... The, what keeps the, the centerpiece here from separating is all the other junk going on in the center. It kind of pulls everything together. So there's, you see, there's their uh, regular bird stand uh, with a food and water bowl, and I put that in the center. Now I measured the height to where there's just a little kind of ramp thing right there to where they can get up to the first ladder, and then you got the second ladder and all the 45s and angles to support those. Now, if you want to design one of your own, of these things just take into consideration the fact that Coco chill take into consideration the fact that wherever they're going to be perched is usually going to be the highest point and when they do that whatever's underneath them is going to get pooped on so you can kind of control where these guys go to the to the uh, do their business or whatever um, by designing your perch around where the highest point is as to where you want to be cleaning up so as you can see, that's, that's where the mess is. Now this plastic I got from Lowe's, um, you can buy it by the roll. It's really cheap. It's like $14, $15. Uh, not cheap, but affordable to me, I guess. But anyway, I cover most of the floor with it and just line it with rock because my guys fly around. And when they do, you know, if it's nothing's holding it down, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to move, migrate. But anyway... All right, so total I have seven pieces of 10 foot, three, I think it's three quarter or three eighths or something. I don't know. It's, anyway, it's PVC. You want it big enough to where their talons can wrap almost completely around it. Um, if it's too big, they, can, they can't really get a good grip. If it's too small, then they don't get enough grip and they can just slide around on it. So there, anyway, that's Coco Chill, dude. That's six pieces. Here, sit over there for a minute. Sorry, seven pieces of 10 foot or 12 foot PVC or whatever. I'll, if you're really interested, again, I'll look at the PVC and send you the information. There are 40 T joints, and I'll zoom in and show you what those are, just in case you're not familiar with this stuff. This is a T joint, or that's what I call it anyway. Um, and then you have your 90 degree connectors right here. That's a 90. And then. Uh, the 90s, I've got like seven of those, and then the 45s, I forget how many of those I got, one, two, three, four, right around 20. Yeah, a little less than 20. So grand total for this, uh, this thing is probably about 10 or 12 feet tall, I don't know. But anyway, they love to be on anything that's high. I mean, that's quite obvious, it goes without saying, but still. So the higher the better, and this is like the fourth one I built and everyone gets bigger. And they love them. Um, so I probably got about 50 maybe $50 into it. 
into just all the PVC and joints. You could probably do it for cheaper if you go to like Lowe's or Home Depot, but to save the drive, I go to this local store where the PVC is about a little over $2 a, a piece. And I know at Lowe's it's a little over a dollar. I want to say like a dollar thirty, dollar sixty with tax or something like that. But anyway, um, just uh, oh, if you're wanting to build one of these yourself, don't make the mistake I did and put the bowls on this thing because when they land on it, if they're flyers, if you if and I hope you don't clip their wings, but if yours can fly, then this whole thing shifts as you can see and their water is going to go everywhere. You're going to have to be filling that water bowl up all day. Anyway, that's, uh, once I'm done with the, this one over here, I'll make another video and let y'all check that one out. Anyway, come here, silly. All right, we're scale on the pole. Hold on. Now I gotta, I gotta get you on yours, dude, because these two don't like each other, as you can see. Cook, will you slide for him before I turn off the camera? Huh? No. All right. All right. So anyway, contact me if uh, you're interested, and I'd love to hear your comments.